Hey everyone, welcome back to Zach's MRE Review Channel. Tonight we're doing another pretty interesting one here. We have an Italian Armed Forces 24 hour combat ration. It's a module B. I didn't look up exactly the exact menu that's in here. I like I like it being a little bit of a surprise. And anyway, so I got gloves on today again because this was in a box of stuff that smelled funny, so bag looks good so whatever smells funny is only on the outside so once we get inside I'll lose the gloves but for now don't want anything funny on my hands so according to this this guy was produced it says 2018 but it's actually okay that's a contract number uh, uh, date of the contract so it's a 2018 it's good till just just uh, about a month ago 7 23 so just out of date, which should be perfectly fine. That's what she looks like. I got the girls with me who need to shh. That's, we got that, and then in the back, these things are giant and they weigh a ton. So, you know, just to see what a ton weighs, exactly. I'm just weighing it. I want to see how heavy it is. See how heavy it is. How heavy is it? It's, according to my scale, it's 5 pounds, 13.6, so just a hair under 6 pounds. Which What's is probably, which is probably one of the heaviest rations I've seen, and probably that's even out, out there at all. So that's a, it's a pretty beastly ration. And that's for one day. Imagine if you're out for more than one day carrying these things. Holy crap. But anyway. A new suit. We're going to go ahead, get her opened up, and see, uh, see exactly what we got. It's so big, it's out of, standing up, it's out of the frame of the camera. How's it standing up? Oh, square, so it stands. All right, now the way these are put together is there's three boxes or modules and they're stacked breakfast, lunch, dinner. So first one off here we got is going to be our breakfast one. I can already smell fuel tablets. They have that fishy kind of smell to it. But anyway, it's just bad. Oh, it's a fishy smell. So anyway, we have these like multivitamin yeah. type tablets they they use. Actually, what are these? Oh, actually, as I discovered here, I got to make a bit of a lighting adjustment. So, now, what are these? They're like multivitamin tablets. You no, know, I did this lighting last night and it was a lot better. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is today. It's still nice. I just think. So. Alright, anyway. It's a little better. So I got that. Got this. This is an instruction sheet. Slip with instructions, combat food ration. There we go. Like that. Then we have. Three uh, wax coated paper bags for our trash. I think that's pretty cool. It's one of the only. I've, I've had rations where you get like one trash bag, one Ziploc bag for your trash, stuff like that. What is that? This is the only ration I've seen so far. That has uh, three individual garbage bags. No. So, no. this is our morning breakfast cutlery set. A very simple one for breakfast. You'll see uh, later on uh, with lunch and dinner, they're different. No. So, 
So we just got a decent napkin, actually. We got a decent napkin. Have, eh, not a cheap spoon. Now this is one of the neat things with the Italian one. Spanish one, Spanish one I consider cooler because it's a reusable one. Um, and you could actually keep it, I got two of them. But anyway, this includes a dental care kit, which includes three disposable toothbrushes and a small tube of toothpaste. Can I have one in? So. Open her up there. There's our little, get zoomed in there, little mint toothpaste. I see. And then, these are actually different from the last one I had. Because the last one I had, the handles were uh, white, white plastic. And there's our three toothbrushes. Ooh. I'll open up one there. Get a better look. Did I smell it? The standard no, adult size toothbrush. And there we go. It's one of the neat things you get with these uh, Italian rations. So next up, Ristora. This is one of their main brands. This is a cappuccino. We have... Well, I made a discovery and I'm very excited. But anyway, I didn't realize this was it. So we got two 25 gram little foil. Jeez, the zoom on this thing's killing me today. Foil. Well, it's also, oh, okay, it's the girls moving around in the background messing up the zoom. What? It's trying to auto track it. So, anyway, 25 grams of apricot jam, two of them. So, we have tea, the al lemon. I'm going to guess this is tea with lemon. I'll make sure if, if I'm wrong, I'll correct it. This is our sugar. Weird for never salt for breakfast. No, never saw that. It's a curious. We got our our six Esbit fuel tabs. That's what I was saying. They got that fishy smell because of these. We have this. Is one of the nice things is this uh, stove. Compared to other Esbit stoves you get, like um, right at the top of my head, Russian, uh, stuff like that. Uh, these are much heavier. That thing's, as you can hear, hitting the floor there. That thing, these are pretty pretty solid and well constructed. So I hurt? So, no. So you'll use this throughout the day and keep it. Have a toothpick? Let me see. Individually wrapped. We have to go with our little stove too. We have our just standard wooden matches, nothing fancy. Then we have a chocolate cereal bar. Now this is what inter this is what's interesting. So I got a chocolate cereal bar. I got two things of. Apricot jam. That's it. No biscuits, no crackers. So you're gonna put apricot jam on a chocolate cereal bar? That's horrible. And now, actually, to correct myself, I have another toothpick. Two toothpicks. So three total. So one, one per meal. So, and this is what makes this one special. And, and, and brain, brain fart when I was reading the front of it. Module B. Here it is. Everyone who does these ration reviews, things like that, should or wants to get 
module B, and I, I again forgot. Because this, only one in the world. This is the only one in the world. The Italian, the Italian module B, that includes a cordial shot of liquor. 40% alcohol by volume. To go with your breakfast. Only one in the world. I didn't realize it when I was even ordering, to be honest with you. But there it is. So that's it. I'm going to clear this out and we'll unbox. All right, now here, this, this would make more sense if these were with uh, breakfast. Because we got biscotto crackers. So, these are usually pretty good. Then we got these. These are basically fiber tablets. These are ener energy mixed tablets. Dissolve basically like they, they basically dissolve like alka cells. <clears throat> we got our Restora instant coffee. Usually pretty good. Ooh, we got powdered <laughs> crackers, a second biscotto. Powder? They're crushed, honey. What? Powdered crush. We have our, this is pretty standard between all the Italian rations, is our Italian fruit salad yeah, in the can. Sure, we got our sugar. Ew. Hey. What the heck is that? We have... Takino in gelatin. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's probably obviously some kind of meat or something. Gelatin? I'll translate it. What's gelatin? Gel. So we'll translate that and I'll let you know for sure. Um, ah, minestrone um, soup, I believe. I believe that's minestrone soup, um, if I remember correctly. Um, so, alright, <clears throat> that's our lunch unboxing, so I'll be back to unbox dinner. Alright, now here we're back. With dinner. Last box in our giant outer bag. And there's dinner. Or supper. That's a big dinner. So again, like with lunch, we have the full cutlery set. We got Coffee and sugar. We have, I believe this is uh, bovina, it's beef and gelatin, some medallions of beef and gelatin. 90% sure that's what that is, exactly. Another biscotto cracker, pretty well crushed. A Power Sport Performance Bar, Gusto Caco, it's chocolate. Mm. These are half decent. What chocolate? And what lastly, chocolate? and thank God this one has it because I actually really enjoy it. Insalata de Rizzo, it's rice salad. And it's good. I've had this before. I really enjoy it. It's like it's like rice, uh, olives, some other stuff in a brine, like a brine solution, like you get in olives, which I, I love. Speak English. I speak English all the time, honey. Let's so. Anyway, so that's it for the unboxing portion. I'm gonna clean up, get our breakfast because it's a continental breakfast, almost nothing to it, and we'll be back. All right, now back to breakfast. Make an adjustment here quick, sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna start off with, these are actually, I had to translate them because I forgot. These are actually effervescent vegetable and fruit disinfectant tablets. Go figure that one out. So I guess at some point they get fresh fruits and stuff. I'm not sure of the uh, rations. So anyway, that's what those are. So as usual, we'll start off with our drinks. Get our cappuccino all nice and ready. Just here. What's that? 
Cappuccino. What cappuccino? It's like coffee. Can I move it? No. Hmm. Yeah. No, I got it down. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Can I mix it? We'll see. All this has is coffee. It's, I didn't There's no other drink mixes in here. I can mix it. My daddy's coffee. What does it keep doing? There we go. Sorry, I had to turn off the, the old fire radio on the back there. You call it fire radio? Mm, scanner. All right. Is that mixed Excellent. up? I can smell it. That's a lot. Thanks, honey. Let's try our cappuccino coffee. Ah, hot. Oh. Yeah, they did, uh, this cappuccino is not pre sweetened. So, oh, spilled some. As normal with my reviews, I make a mess, so. <laughs> These are not very absorbent napkins. The water actually tends to, apparently, not even absorb at all. That's uh, kind of useless. Anyway. Alright, well, quickly. Oh, actually, what am I doing here? We got our tea here to check out. Tea with lemon. Toothpick, don't need that. Smells good. What's that? Tea. Can I have some? No. Why? It's hot tea. It smells fantastic, actually. It's a bit hot, so I'll put that aside and that way if you try it out. So now we'll quickly check out our chocolate cereal bars, what I believe it is. Yes, it is. What is it? I just said it twice. Chocolate, Chocolate cereal bar. Chocolate. That looks good. I don't. Is it good? <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it is. Chewier than I thought. I thought it would be more firm. Good. I like it. Get a bite. Turn it around. Mm -hmm. What the I Next. Come on. We'll check out our apricot jam. It's chewy. Which has, which has, which has nothing to put it on. But that's what it looks like. Okay. It smells good. So now, since they don't give you anything to put that on, thank you for telling me that there was nuts in this. Oh, was there? Yep. I didn't even realize it. I'm sorry. I thought it was just crunchy. Like anyway, so I stole from the lunch component biscotto crackers, so that I could. Uh, Actually, try the jam. I'm not just gonna eat a spoonful of jam. That's silly. Like I said, the, this is that crushed up pack. So that's what they look like. Light, airy, pretty good. On their own, not a whole lot of flavor. Well, we get some jam on it. Yep. Hmm. Good. Mm. The jam's pretty good. No, I'm saying it's a cracker. Yes, mommy's gonna get one for you. Hold on. She's off camera here. But I know patience is not allowed in this house. Here, have some crumbs. I mean, it's all crumbs, and you're asking. Here, girls, here. Here's some crumbs. I mean, I don't like you're gonna fight over crumbs. Anyway. Mm. Look at crackers. And now, something I've been waiting to do ever since I started watching Ration Reviews, not even doing them, just watching them. The Italian cordial shot of liquor. 
waiting a, waiting a while for this. Yeah, huh? we both win. I'm not a drinker at all. I, I don't drink booze. I don't like it. But this is one booze I've actually been genuinely waiting for for a long time. What does it taste like? Booze. You don't need to know what booze tastes like. Can I taste that? Absolutely not. Because it's booze. I'm saying what is booze? Be fair with that. If anything, you'll probably end up with more because I don't drink, so. There we go. You know, we go high class here at uh, Zach's MRE Review, and we use styrofoam cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pass that one off camera there. Ooh, that taste, that smells uh, strong. Oh, it's gonna. It's gonna burn. I heard it hits. It's gonna burn. I heard it hits. Down. So, anyway, hold on. Uh -huh. So, in keeping with the tradition of what we're doing here, salute. Salute. Whoa. Woo! Oh. Ah, oh my god. Oh, no wonder why that's breakfast. Oh, oh, oh. Is that whiskey? Whew. I have no idea what that is. Wow. Oh. Mm, putting that out with a cracker. Dang. Well. It burns it burns the mouth, it burns all the way down, and it burns the stomach when it hits bottom too. Woo! My throat is still burning. Wow, that's what I mean. Woo! No wonder why that's for breakfast. That definitely woke me up. Mix that with your... Now, what you probably could have done, too, is mix it, you know, with your cappuccino with something. Make kind of like a Mommy. Irish coffee, hot tie kind of deal. But, uh... Here, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to just do it. Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's even worse uh, with, with... Okay, yeah. I, I, I had a feeling it might be, yeah. Yep. So, anyway, I have been waiting literally years to do that. So, thank you all for joining me in, in that experience. It may not seem like much to anybody else, but for those of you who do ration Mommy. reviews Mommy. or who like rations, things like that, you'll understand the, the significance of that. Because, again, when I first recorded this video, I forgot what Module B was. Okay, they are so hard to find. And usually when you find them, they cost 25, 50, even 100% more than any of the other menus simply simply because of this i'm actually i am so happy with that i got this i'm actually going to try to rinse this thing out and add this to my collection of wrappers yeah because i don't know when if and when i'm going to find this again because who knows next year italy can go yeah you know what we don't feel like giving our troops booze it's gone it's the only one in the world to do it and it'll be gone so definitely gonna save that by the way, my stomach still burns right now. Just going to let you know that. My stomach doesn't burn, <laughs> my throat does. The back of my throat. Oh, it's, it's kind of actually my esophagus, technically. If we're going to go into anatomical terms. But anyway, so that's it for breakfast. We'll be back with lunch. All right, and welcome back to lunch. I decided, because I really don't have a good way to heat cans up in the house, I'm actually going to try to use the heater here, the stove, in the house. Don't know how it's gonna work. Let's find out. What are you doing now? Well, I'm guessing the telly matches are junks. So. Do I know? Yep, they're junk. Where are the? Yeah, they're they're over there. Here, I'm gonna. From a previous ration, I got German matches. Let's try these. Are you sure these are junk? So, let's try to get that started up. This wooden match should actually probably do a better job. Oh, it's sliding. Let's find out. It's out. The junk. It's out. Okay, it's out. How did it get out? Let's see if I it burned out. It. No. No. Yeah. There's smoke coming up in there. It's gonna happen. Whoa! We're gonna have a fishy smell in our house now. Yeah, I'm not sure if this thing, this sucker is even gonna light for me. Oh, oh. Doesn't seem to want to cooperate today. Not, not, if not, I might have to 
Go out to the garage and bring in the blowtorch. Oh gosh. Let that one go out. That one's gonna light the other one. Heck, if I get all these matches in there, it'll probably just turn into a bonfire anyway. <laughs> I think we got it. Let's see it. Sorry for the boring two minute video of me just trying to light matches. I do apologize for that. Let's see this one. Think it's starting, it's starting to, yeah, we're getting it. Yep, you need a pile, you need a pile of wood to start your flameless, uh, well, not flameless, but your... Okay. You better get a cup of water ready. Yeah, there we go. In Hope case. it doesn't melt my tray, that's the only thing. There's an air gap underneath, it shouldn't. Alright, so this, by the way, this is turkey and gelatin, so that's going to be it's our really first bad. item. Now look at that. Okay. Oh wow, that's, that actually lighted. Lit. Can I see it? Whoa! It's just turkey. In gelatin. Yeah, wow. Well, stupid me on that one, by the way, everyone. What? What did you do? I have to. I have to adjust that and it's hot. Go on, that's But, a little ingenuity here. Voila. I don't know, I kind of want to. There we go. Um, if anyone should be trusted here, it's me as a fireman. You know how to burn stuff. Well, well that was not good. Nope. It's not working. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, it's because we're in the house. Like, it's just not perfect. I mean, it's... It is what it is. Everyone, I hope you're having a nice laugh because you're... And feel free to laugh because this is just going to be a, a complete crap show, so... Buckle up, Buttercup. And <laughs> Let's enjoy it, cause I, I, whatever. I'm having a laugh too. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, now, and I know what the problem is. This plastic tray is too slippery, so when the weight goes on top here, there's nothing for these bottoms to grab onto. It slides out. Oh. So if we were like out, if we were outside in dirt or, or gravel or anything like that, this would hold up. Why didn't you just put but it on? Why not? So, since this is taking too long, I'm going to hold up. I'm going to go ahead and get out my my jet stove. And we'll do it the good old-fashioned easy way. All right. Now we're back again. Yeah, that's right, baby. So, on older videos, um, I had a jet boil stove. Oh, yeah, it smells like fish in here. <laughs> and uh, I upgraded to a slightly different one. So... You guys see see yeah. that comes in a nice little mesh carry bag. I got this thing off uh, off Amazon. I forget the exact store it was through, but it's on Amazon. It was this this here was twenty bucks for this and everything everything in it, it was twenty bucks. So not bad. Not a sponsor of me in any way. Just something I found that I liked. It includes a little chamois cloth thing to like clean up if you need to want to <laughs> even comes with this nifty cabinet can opener thing so pretty cool then in here just like with some of the other ration I did where you don't where it doesn't come with utensils or anything it comes with folding camping utensils in a little a little pouch too that's pretty cool So anyway, and it even has a stand here to keep it up off the ground, which you really don't need in, when I'm doing it this way, because you got your, this is five bucks, this was a, a cylinder of uh, isobutane fuel, again, not a sponsor or anything, but, and that just sits on top there, like that. The little cockeye too, because this can, whatever I use, and I guess is a weird size. So, oh no, there you go. It clips in. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. Get her open. Now this portion is the same as my old one. Just a different color. It's like an orange. But otherwise, it's the same. So, get that opened up. Can you stop? What's wrong with you? She's not doing anything. No, the baby's actually watching what I'm doing, right, honey? She's 
Can you do it? That's right, lovey. Lovey baby. She wants to see if you want to fire. Is that a fire thing? Okay. No stuff yet. You want to make sure this is turned off so the gas doesn't fire out as soon as you connect it and you just screw it on and it punctures the seal. It's isobutane. There you go, nice smell of isobutane in the house now. It's better than that fish smell. Go ahead, open that up. So then we'll turn this on a little and then we'll click the igniter. Okay, here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I could dump that can into one of my pots here, but to save myself some dishes, I'm going to try not to. There we go. All right, she's heating up. Now I'll use one of my nice little fancy folding camping spoons. So that folds out and then this slides onto it as a safety so it doesn't collapse. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I I find I find simple things enjoyable sometimes. Get the old tongs out here in case I need it. Make myself some room. What is that? It's a knife knife fork spoon. Here, here, come on. It's a fork. Whoa. Come on. It's cool. What's this in the... Knife, a... fork, and spoon, honey. Is this a bottle Uh, hon, Belle, you give me a mitt. A hot mitt. Behind, right behind you. No, oh, sorry, I don't want to burn myself. Please stop, please stop. What do you have to... Thank you. Right, so let me see. So while this is going, I want to try to break it up, but I don't want to push this right off the stove either, and I can't really grab it without oh shit, without burning the hell out of my hand. So let's try. Why is it steak on there? Try this way. There we go. That's a little, little better. Not quite as obviously dangerous. And I'm only doing this so the, the middle heats up and we don't get it burning on the bottom, you know. But ultimately, since it's in juices like this, you basically effectively boil it. So, so anyway, I'm not going to keep going and going on the tape here. So I'm going to heat the turkey up that way and heat my soup up that way and we'll be back. Stick around. All right, and now we're back. We're heating up the minestrone soup on the stove. So once again, I'm not going to bore you with five minutes of heating, so we'll be back. All right, after that little bit of heating fiasco here, we're back. Successfully heated up. No fires, no deaths, no end injuries. So all in all, good time. <laughs> anyway, all right, we'll start off with our drinks as normal. So I'm going to check out one of these enter mixes for the life of me i can't find, figure out how much water you put one of these in so i just got a little bit of cold water there toss one of these in and see what happens she looks like with an arrow on it look at that if i can't see it what are those dub like an effervescent drink thing as far as i know for like energy i think they're mixes because it says literally mix Who knows? We'll find out. Not maybe you're supposed to eat the things. I'm right. pretty sure it's like an alka seltzer though. Is Whatever. It, is it fizzing yet? Not really, so I'll let it sit there. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll have our coffee. That kind of tip. Yeah, it's not Mommy! Mama is in our bed. Alright. 
And I, since I didn't use my sugar at breakfast, I'll use it for lunch because it's a pretty acidic coffee, so make it nice and sweet. No. There we go. All right, I'll put it off to the side here. Let my daughter mix it. So anyway, while that's going on, we got the minestrone soup heated up. Um, we got the turkey and gelatin heated up. Don't know why somebody just gave me salt. German salt, of all things. <laughs> but anyway, so start off with everyone sampled this already off camera except me, and they liked it. So That's so good, but except I don't like the beans in it. Who's that? I just, it's done. I, I just, um, I just like mm, the that is good. I, I just it's like done. the noodles. And you have to make a mess, I know that. Everyone knows on our channel. If you don't make a mess, you ain't doing it right. Yeah, it's okay if I like but, a little good. coffee on it. We're thumbs up. Okay. Awesome. So we'll have everyone sample it again and get another opinion. Mmm. Okay. Nice thing. No, it's time to taste it. Yeah. Have some coffee. You, you really. She, she has to sample it. You're gonna dump it, dude. I know, that's what I'm waiting for. Okay, so my recommendation if you like me and you don't like really bitter coffee, two sachets of sugar in this with a dash of milk, perfect. It's delicious. I really. So while, so while I'm having that, at least Italy's honest about your poop problems when you eat rat military rations too much. And they give you, these are fiber pills. As far as I know, you're supposed to take two or three per meal. I forget. So, just for the heck of it, and to be thorough, no, I'll start with two. I love the beans. And down the hatch to go. No. And, and even try being. Yeah, I did. That's why I don't like And down they go. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know in the okay. in the description below if I have success later. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> That's nice. Isn't it? Hey. I'm waiting for Hey, that I'm all soup. about thorough, and you know I'm, that. I'm just waiting for that soup to be all Oh, me too. Because it's going to happen. So anyway, next we'll try our turkey in gelatin. I can't wait to try this. Looks good, smells good. It's, it is really The good. human entity to the left of me says it's good. <laughs> it is very, it's really good. It's freaking delicious. Yes, it is. I'm on. So, I'm on. definitely good. Pass that around. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try Everybody. Next up, I mean, these are the same exact crackers we had with breakfast. Do we have any of those left? Yeah, tiny. I, I don't know. I tiny. Mean, it's tiny. Hey, could I have that pack of crackers next to you? Left left? Yeah, we got some left. So I'm not gonna wait, open this and waste them because I'll, I'll eat these for a snack or something another day. It's just more of the biscotto crackers, these guys. So you could dunk that. These would be. In the turkey, there was a lot more juices. Dunk some of this in the juice. Be heaven. Yeah, well, I, I wish I could try that. I wanted to try that, but people... It's were, almost all gone. I know. Anyway. So, last thing we gotta do here is we got our fruit salad. Our Italian fruit salad. A lot of juice, obviously. You're not gonna drain off some of this juice here, quick. Oh, I want the trash. No. <laughs> Turkey. There mm. we go. Did make a slight mess. You have to give me those. Mm. There we go. I don't like anything Just a basic that. fruit salad. I don't like anything. Just I don't personally eat this kind of stuff, so I'll go right ahead and pass that on. Wow. To the girls. Look what stuff. I found in it. The it's heck a, is it? A bay leaf. Oh, okay. I thought so. So anyway, as they handle that. I don't like that. Um, that's really the only thing left of uh, lunch. Oh, sorry, our uh, mix thing. Yeah, that didn't dissolve, so I'm not 100% sure what the heck to do with those. So, oh well. I tried. <laughs> it was an experiment, didn't work. I'll have to do some more research on that. If I figure out, um, if I figure out anything about these, I'll include, uh, I'll include um, an explanation in the description of the video when I post it. So, what do you think of the fruit salad itself? Good. Thumbs up. All right. There we go. We got thumbs. That's thumb good. That's good. This is it. We got thumbs up all around on 
on lunch. We'll be back with dinner. All right, welcome back everybody to our dinner. So with dinner, there's only, there's only one drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that prepared. So it's coffee. And since wifey wants it, I'm gonna put the sugar aside and make it straight up. Val, I need Val. She has to go. I can't stay. I can't stay. I can't stay. No, you just wheeled the chair into it, honey. Anyway. Alright, Sophia, tap. Leave it alone. I want to help you. No, leave it alone. Dad, is this thing on? No. Alright, so there's our black coffee. So I'll get that over to her. What? Now, in this whole thing, there's only one thing to heat up. So we'll get that quickly heated up on the stove again. This is. Beef medallions in gelatin. Let's get that opened up. Let you look at it. You know what I noticed? So we're gonna we're gonna get that on the camp stove and go ahead. Um, when it comes to like the Russian um, and and German even uh, rations compared to the Italian one. It seems like the Russian and the Italian, I mean, the Russian and the uh, Germany ones are more like, uh, I would say, savory. And, and sa like savory and hearty at the same time, where this is more hearty. You get what I mean? Yeah, well, everyone, every country has its own palate, basically. So that's, yeah. That, that would explain that. that it's cooking. Oh, Whoa. Actually. <laughs> That was almost hilarious. That was almost really funny. That almost just literally took off like a rocket. So I'm gonna scrape some of the gelatin out here. Oh, don't, that's all the juice. I know, but I can't. I gotta open up some channels here so I can vent. <laughs> or else it's probably gonna blow up. I don't think that's gonna do anything any good. I think it's still gonna look like it's gonna take oh, off. I'm gonna find out. It's taking off. There we go, open it up. There we go, look at that. There we go, that works, see? Yeah, at the cost of a lot of juice. Oh. I'm sorry, I know you're all about the juices, honey. Oh, yes. I want you. Melt down that gelatin all nice. Mm -mm -mm. I want you. These beef medallions and gelos, gelatin is usually, usually pretty good. I had high hopes for the... Um, I don't want to burn this, though, so... I had high hopes for the... Hell's that, look at a piece of paper or something. I had high hopes for this Italian coffee. Decent. And uh, it's I, decent. I've had better. The German coffee, I think, is better. I've I've had uh, the one we had last night, the three in one. Yeah, the right, Thailand. The yeah. Yeah, I mean, out of the Thai. Thailand, that was the best. That's still yeah. That is. That was high. Like that was still the best. Look. What is All right, that should be good enough. We just want to warm it up a bit, not. Uh, not outright, uh, not outright cooker. Dad, you need these in a Get this out. Dad, you need this. Try to get this out in a the wall. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. Get this turned off. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> All right. I didn't even have to. Don't have to. Edit, don't even have to edit the here's video a, for that. Here's a bowl for you, sweetie. Oh, I need that one already. So there we go. That's it out. It feels kind of jelly. Like, too much yeah. too jelly for me. Yeah, well, it was the can was starting to burn, so it's a good thing I stopped. So anyway, um, wait, it looks like next up here is my, what I couldn't wait for, because one of my favorite things in the rations, in salada de riso, or rice salad. It's in like, it, you serve it cold, it's in like a briny solution, and I absolutely love it. Ew. Let me see. There it is. Oh, that's gross looking. So there go. It's got peas, olives, carrots, black olives, carrots, and like I said, it's in like a briny solution. And to me, it's just delightful. So you see, so there's the peas. There's even, uh, I believe this is ham. So it's ham, peas, and there's corn. All that. Yummy deliciousness. 
Get a black olive here. Mmm. Oh, that's good. This is one of my favorite. One of my favorite uh, cold ration. What? Harrison, push the button on top. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and salty, just the way I like it. Mmm. Basically like spam. The ham is basically like little cubes of spam. Delicious. Mm. Sophia likes black olives. Mm. Yeah, black olives are good. I used to eat them whole I, as a kid. I don't like them at whole now, but like this, like sliced up in, in something like this, like salads and stuff. Oh yeah, good. I didn't start liking mm. any type of olives until that we was started dating. Mm -hmm. right. Those oh, look good. kind of like um, a look like, thing, like sausage, a salami, salami, and a, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so we got those next. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my camping things here, and we'll check these out. And it's basically, basically almost like a sausage -y type deal. Daddy, so. you need the spoon. Uh, not now. Okay, I want it. So that's what she looks like. Nice lean meat. Dad, can I use this to scoop it up? Oh my god, flavorful. Dad, can I use this? Mm. Oh my god, the flavor. What? Holy moly, the flavor. Wow. Watch, I'll cut a piece. What is that? Oh yeah, that, that tastes, flavor. What is that? that tastes like for freshly me? made. Salami. So what are you? What on earth are you doing? Just take a piece. Exactly. Save some for me. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna break your spoon. Okay, next up, whoever wants to actually eat it. Me, 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 me. I don't know. Oh my god, that tastes like. Hold on, Tanya, I'll get you one. Huh? That tastes like fresh salami. Right. Kobasha. That no, is awesome. Just like salami. It's not smoky. It's not smoky like kobasha. Kobasha. Mm. Here, Ty, I'm giving you one. Here, here, here. Okay. What is that? Here it's a chocolate it's, it's, it's a. You had a piece, honey. Mm. Holy moly. <laughs> so actually, it's a. Um... Holy. Can I have one more piece? Because I didn't. Yeah, okay. Tiny, stop. You're literally making a mess for no reason. She wants that piece, hon. I know, and I keep giving it. Yeah, I know. when she dumps it. She was having a hard time getting it on her spoon. No, Zagger. Why? Be careful, Taya. All. Don't choke on that. That's a big piece for your, and you're little. <laughs> Zach, you don't have to take the skin off of it for me. That's a no, it's mine. Like freshly cooked. And the last though. piece could be yours. Can I take the mm. off of it? Right? <laughs> was that good, by the way, on camera here? We're so yeah. moment. I think that. Mm. It was good. Mm -hmm. So mm. don't film it. Yes. So, so that the, the the flavors out of that versus the flavors with this. Oh my goodness. I think this is gonna kill me for salami because this mm. tastes better than salami. Like from the stuff. it doesn't taste like mm -hmm. salami. It, it tastes like kibasa. No, no, it doesn't. It's not smoky. It's not smoky. There's no smokiness that at all. This is this is 100% salami, Zachary. Is this from mm. Italy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not really. Are these crackers? Mm. That's why you sound weird. No, those are, ger those are German cookies. Like kielbasa, from Italy. Peas, honey. They're peas. Kielbasa is Polish. Mm. Well, mm. What? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So while we're chowing down here, we'll go ahead and wrap this up by checking out our power bar. This uh, The dinner also comes with more of the biscotto crackers. Again, I'm not opening a new pack of them. Shut up. Just show you one. I'm gonna drink that juice. You're gonna get sick. Yeah. You're gonna get really sick, Liam. Don't. So anyway, not, last we'll check out our Enervit Vit Power Sport Bar. He's leaving. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's, he's insisting on making I'm himself sick. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm eating crackers with that, that stuff. So, there we go. Which she looks like there. Nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. Bit of stickiness, as you would expect. Yep, definitely chocolate. You smell the, co the cocoa. Mm. Nice, chewy. Not bad. What is that? It's an energy sports bar. Oh, yeah, give that to them before bed. That, that's, it's that's not, it's not, it doesn't have caffeine or anything in it. 
Yeah. It's dense calories. That it's, it's for no, sustained break energy. It, Just a little break bite it, each. Break it up. Break it up. Break, break Just it. a little bite each. Mm. <laughs> Pretty good, ain't it? Now I know why Taya is so small. <laughs> All right. So with that one, dinner was awesome. So basically the whole ration was awesome. I got to have my cordial shot of liquor finally from the Italian ration. Very stoked about that. Other than that, big thumbs up. If anyone out there is interested and want to try it, I highly recommend getting an Italian module B. I've also had a module G, which is pretty good too. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys found it entertaining as always. I had a blast doing this one because it was definitely worth it. And other than that, everyone, keep your head up. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next Ration Review. What do you Smash think? that subscribe button down there. Give me a like, comment if you have any questions or comments, obviously. Let and me know. What do the kids think of this one? And kids, overall, thumbs up, thumbs Yay! up. Yes. There we go, all thumbs Every, up. Yeah. Yay! I didn't do a thumbs up, it's in the middle. It's so both, both Liam's, the, Liam's in the middle, and then everybody else's is thumbs up. Sometimes some stuff I didn't like out of it, so. <laughs> so, that just, there you go. From adults to children, it's good. I'm in the middle like Liam. There's yeah, things but I it's still good, like. but yeah. overall. I love, it, yeah. I love everything. So, that's it. So, again, everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos here. Listen to me spew crap out of my mouth. Even sometimes when I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. You guys are awesome. You're the best. Thank you again. So, other than that, stay safe again. We'll see you on the next Ration Review again. And I'm out of here. So, have a good night. Good night.